Hey guys, how is it going? Phil is here, uh, just wanted to say thanks, uh, basically it's a very quick video of this, just to say thank you so much to all of my subscribers and all my fans out there, it really does mean a lot to me, all your likes and subscribes. And if you haven't done so already, do like and subscribe and click that button. <laughs> uh, sorry I've been a bit quiet really, uh, and not particularly content heavy of late, because I've, I've just been so busy touring and doing public appearances, that I've just not really had time to sit down and do this. So uh, a little recap of what's been going on in my life. Um, I've uh, uh, quit smoking. I don't know if some of you have followed me on Instagram. You might have seen uh, 12 weeks uh, this Sunday coming up. So not quite. So 11 weeks and five days. Smoke free. And I've not used nicotine gum. Uh, I've not used patches. I've not used vape. Uh, I, I've just done a, a sheer willpower and fear of death. So anyway, here I am, and I think we can all agree as well, I'm looking great. <laughs> so life's going pretty well. Uh, I had a bit of a bump today, uh, I, I, I'd, I'd say, as a, I don't know if it, I'm not, mar I'd, something happened today that I'm not sure if I'm in the right or wrong, so I thought I'd just put this to you quickly. Um, so basically, I, I, I've done a bit of stand-up recently about taking a jacket back to a charity shop, uh, and I think we can all agree it's a laugh riot. But, uh, as life imitates art, often, <laughs> sadly, it's quite true in my case, but, um, so I bought this PSP for eight pounds from a charity shop, and I asked the lady uh, if it worked, and she said, uh, yes, it does. And I said, oh, has it been tested? She said, no, but we trust all the people that come in here. And as she said that, I saw a guy trying to steal a chair from outside. So I don't know, I mean, to be fair, he was outside, he wasn't inside, but I don't think that matters. Uh, so I said, well, can I have a receipt in case it doesn't work? And she said, yes. So I got the receipt, and I brought it back, and lo and behold, it hasn't been checked at all. I, well, if you can hear anything, that's my fucking neighbour who feels a need to play Dire Straits all day, every fucking Dire Straits. I'm in Dire Straits, I don't actually know what Dire Straits means. But uh, anyway, so I get it home, there's no battery. So it's resale value, which is the only reason I got it was to try and turn a small profit. It's completely gone out the window. So now, uh, this is it's pointless. It means nothing to me. I was gonna have to buy a charging cable anyway. So I take it back and she says, you can't have your money back, can I have a credit note? I looked around the store and I'm sorry, there's nothing in there I wanted. This old lady just kept pointing and going, that's a nice mug. I've got mugs and I'm not paying, even that's not going to make a dent on eight pound credit. So I walked out the shop with an eight pound credit voucher, which I wasn't going to really, I've, no, I've got a month as well to use that apparently. And also before you start getting on your high horse, before you comment, and I do want your comments, I do value them. Uh, it's a shit charity, it's not like fucking, it's not cancer research, it's not uh, age concern, anything. it's like some fucking donkey sanctuary or something, so it's not a good one. She rules that shop with an iron fist. Disgraceful. Anyway, so I was walking down the street and I, away with my credit note. And then I thought, you know what? I'm not going to spend eight pounds within a month here. I'm just going to go back and get this again. And I'll just buy a battery for it and then just take the hit on the profit I was going to make. Anyway, I go back in. She's put it back out for 10 pounds. For 10 pounds. So then she's asking me for an extra two pounds to now get it back, which I refused, I might add. And then I said, why are you putting it out? Why have you upped it? Marked it up to £10. And she went, it's all good price. I went, yeah, but it doesn't work. Anyway, I called them all idiots and left the shop. So I won't be going back to the Donkey Sanctuary fucking shop in Withington. Why is it okay for women to say, oh, you're five feet on dating sites? You should be dead. That's okay. Right. So the point is, am I right or wrong in, going, in trying to take that back and then getting angry and calling a charity worker an idiot? Which she was. Actually, I don't even think she's an idiot. I think she's evil. 
Which is worse than being an idiot. At least they don't know what they're doing when they're eating their own shit and, you know, hanging around bus stops. They just don't know any better. She knows better. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and click that button. Hope you're well. Uh, summer's coming. Uh, and I uh, don't want to go on too much. We might know I've been working out a little bit as well. And uh, I don't know where the seafood shop is, but this one is poorly. <laughs> Anyway, what's happening? I'm trying to steal a friend of mine's catchphrase from his podcast. Anyway, hope you're well. Like and subscribe, click that button. Good to be back, eh?